Well, good afternoon, Karen. It's so nice to spend a little bit of time with you. Thank you. Welcome, Penelope. Thank you. So you own Karen Lechner Designs, is that correct? That is. Okay, and I understand that you're not only an amazing jewelry designer, but you also are an interior decorator. That's right. I've actually had my interior design company since 94, and I started in jewelry mm, probably maybe 2006, 2005, something like that, and didn't get into forming it into a business until 2009. Well, I must tell you, um, you know, in with Fuse Fashion Magazine, we are always looking for unique Bay Area designers, and I think that you definitely come under that category. Um, can you share with us a little bit of the inspiration behind the type of work that you do? I'll tell you, it's, it's interesting, and it really only struck me uh, about six months ago that I design jewelry much the same way I design a room. And that's that I look for great elements. I choose them based on color and texture and uh, color and texture and uh, uniqueness. And then I try to put them together in a whole that says something that's not being said out there. And, but my inspiration really comes from the stones themselves. I can be walking a show and see something and it, instantly in my mind, I can picture how I want to put that in a piece. So um, it's creativity, but I have to say creativity can be both a blessing and a curse. Sometimes your mind doesn't turn off and <laughs> you uh You'd like to maybe cool it a little bit, but um, but it is just like it's seeing a great uh, piece, a piece of furniture, and knowing, oh my gosh, I know the room that I'd like to create around that. Well, it's really much the same. The thing that I also noticed about your work is that it just seems so much more um, than just jewelry pieces. All of your pieces, based on the elements that you're bringing to the table, really are, in my opinion, works of art. So I, I'm, I'm kind of curious about that. I know that you know women today are always looking for exciting, new, unusual pieces, and it seems to me that not only are they getting a magnificent piece of jewelry, but they really are investing in a work of art. Has that been a bit of your your method to your madness? It's, uh, it's one of my goals. I really think of my jewelry as wearable art, and so I want to give a woman a piece that really is beautiful standing on its own first and is only enhanced by being around her neck um, or her wrist. So, Well, and I think that one of the things I'm seeing for um, spring coming up is um, just the idea of kind of a minimalistic look fashion-wise and then add, adding in a, a wonderful bold um, piece that is an accent piece. What colors are you working with for spring? Well, uh, the piece in front of me definitely has the tangerine um, marigold color family. Um, so definitely in both my lines of work, I have to be aware of what colors um, are current. But I also do, so I'm working with the tangerines, the marigolds, um, a lot of the, I haven't used any neon pieces in my work. Um, I think that's probably not me. I'll go strong color, but I'm not sure I want neon color. It hasn't grown on me yet. So, uh, but I think um, there are all the, all the citrus colors are very big, whether they're neon or not, they're all very big. Lots of turquoise, um, tangerine, lemon yellows, um, the lime greens. So um, definitely they're what I'm gonna be working on. And because pearls are so big for spring, I'm really doing an entire line of pearls, but they're not your mama's pearls. Um, although they can be, but I'll take them apart <laughs> and redo them. But um, they're bold, they have color, 
um, and they're bling. Um, and it, they make a statement. They're not the demure single strand of white pearls that our moms wore. Well, we are so excited to have spent a time here with you and love watching the joy uh, that you have in, in creating your magnificent pieces of art. So again, um, Karen Lechner Designs, um, it's been a joy. And thank you so much for contributing to fashion, especially here in the Bay Area. Thank you for visiting.